Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. You know, here at Encore, we're really trying to keep our thumb planted firmly on the pulse of what's happening out there in the golf industry from a new revenue opportunity angle through cost savings operationally, these days more frequently, uh, social media and how to embrace it, round generation, etc. And one of the consistent themes we've heard over the last number of years has to do with one of your biggest capital expenditures, your cart fleet, and consequently your revenue sources. So other than looking out your window during the season, can you tell where your carts are at any given time? And how do you answer these questions from your owner? Hey, are you rotating our fleet appropriately? I just drove in and I saw a cart on number seven green. Do you have any idea where that cart is that was stolen last night? I just had four groups call while I was in the pro shop looking for the bevy cart. Where is it? And why is our pace so slow? Where's the bottleneck today? Well, look, we know these are all real life issues for the golf industry, but they're solvable. We've gone out and sourced something out. And the new year's now begun. It's time to evaluate and plan. When we've teamed up with the Ontario PGA on a limited time basis to bring in this solution to address some of these operational hurdles. So as much as we'd like to offer this forever. Look, if you're not guarding your fleet, you're going to have guys going anywhere they want. And you know what happens now. You've seen it. You've talked to your peers. If it hasn't been at your facility, carts just like this one in the picture have ended up somewhere where they're not supposed to be. Fleet tracking is the answer. GPS exists now. It's everywhere. You can manage your fleet. You can manage your turf equipment. You can see where it is at any given point in time. And you can manage where it can and cannot go. So what exactly will it do for you? Well, it should help you manage your pace of play on a real-time basis, which should encourage return play by your players. Maybe fit in even another foursome or two. You can eliminate on-course marshalling if that's a cost that you're trying to, to delete from the system. On-course marshalling is always viewed by players as enforcement anyway. Maybe this will encourage them to return. Your owner and super is going to love this. You can keep riders out of sensitive areas. And of course, with the GPS tracking by its very nature, you'll know immediately when a cart leaves your property. A message will even be sent to your smartphone. How about food and beverage? You know players like to eat and drink. Manage where and when they're being served and how often. And then finally, of course, tournament staging. You know, a, a tournament day can go crazy. You can start and stop the carts when you want them to start and stop. It's just the next logical progression, guys. Fill in your info below and we'll help fill you in. We've been talking to some of your peers. Here's what they think. Rob McDonald at Brampton actually took the system last August because he wanted to keep his carts off a dangerous hill between number one and 18. And interestingly enough, he wanted to eliminate his course marshals. At Copper Creek, they have a round guarantee. So John Young, ne Young needs a real-time pace of play manager. Speaking to Doug Young over at Richmond Hill, he had three carts disappear last summer. I told him he would know exactly where these carts were with this type of tool. And in speaking with Jamie Trenum over at Eagle's Nest, beautiful course. They've got lots of environmentally sensitive areas. Carts are not supposed to be in there, but we all know that they get in there. So it's the same age-old question, who's responsible? The buck always ends up with you. Always. So don't be the guy left behind. You want to be the person that gets it, that continues to get it? Enter below and we will send you something awesome.